Genesis 6, 9, it says, Noah was a righteous man. Genesis 7, 1, then the Lord said to Noah, you are righteous before me, not before men, before me, before God. Genesis 18, Abraham prays for righteous people over and over again. Did God say to Abraham, oh, Abraham, why are you praying for someone who doesn't exist? Don't you know there are none righteous? Of course, God did not say that because righteous people do exist. Otherwise, everything I show you here is absurd, including the next one. Exodus 23, 7, God commands, do not kill the innocent and righteous. Deuteronomy 16, 19, you shall not twist the words of the righteous. Deuteronomy 25, 1, the judges shall justify the righteous. 2 Samuel 4:11, 1 Kings 8:32, 2 Chronicles 6:23 all talk about righteous people. Psalm 1:5 talks about the congregation of the righteous. The next verse, the Lord knows the way of the righteous. Psalm 5:12, for you Lord will bless the righteous. Psalm 11.3, what can the righteous do? Psalm 31.18, let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak against the righteous. Psalm 32.11, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. Psalm 33.1, rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Psalm 34.19, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Psalm 37.16, a little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. Psalm 37, 21, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. Psalm 37, 25, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Psalm 64, 10, the righteous shall be glad in the Lord. Psalm 75, 10, the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 118, 15, the tents of the righteous. Psalm 125, 3, on the land allotted to the righteous. Psalm 72, 7, the righteous shall flourish. Psalm 94, 21, they gather together against the life of the righteous. Psalm 97, 11, light is sown for the righteous. Job 12, 4, the righteous and upright man is a laughingstock. Job 17, 9 says, yet the righteous will hold to his way. Job 22, 19, the righteous shall see it and are glad. Job 27, 17, the righteous will wear it. Job 37, 7, he does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous. Proverbs 3, 33 says, he blesses the home of the righteous. Proverbs 4, 18, the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn. Proverbs 9, 9, teach the righteous and he will learn more. Proverbs 10, 3, the Lord will not allow the righteous soul to famish. Verse 6, blessings are on the head of the righteous. Verse 7, the memory of the righteous is blessed. Verse 11, the mouth of the righteous is a well of life. Verse 16, the labor of the righteous leads to life. Verse 30, the righteous will never be removed. Proverbs 12, 10, a righteous man regards the life of his animal. Proverbs 12, 21, no grave trouble will overtake the righteous. Proverbs 12, 26, the righteous shall choose his friends carefully. Proverbs 13, 5, a righteous man hates lying. Verse 25, the righteous eats to the satisfying of his soul. Proverbs 15, 28, the heart of the righteous studies how to answer. Proverbs 17, 15, one who condemns the righteous is an abomination to the Lord. Proverbs 29, 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Isaiah 3.10, say to the righteous that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Isaiah 5.23, take away justice from the righteous man. Isaiah 26.2, open the gates that the righteous nation, which keeps the truth, may enter in. Isaiah 26.7, the path of the righteous is level. Isaiah 29.21 speaks about those who deprive the righteous of justice. Isaiah 57.1, the righteous perish. The righteous is taken away from evil. Isaiah 60, 21, and thy people are all of them righteous. Jeremiah 20, 12, you who test the righteous. Lamentations 4, 13 speaks about the sins of the prophets and the iniquities of the priests who shed the blood of the righteous within her. Ezekiel 3, 20 and 21, both verses talk about a righteous man. If you warn the righteous man that the righteous should not sin. Ezekiel 23, 45, but the righteous men will judge them. Amos 2, 6, they sell the righteous for silver. Amos 5, 12, they oppress the righteous. Hosea 14, 9, for the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them. 
Habakkuk 1, 4. For the wicked surround the righteous. Malachi 3, 18. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked. Matthew 1, 19. Her husband, that is the husband of Mary, Joseph, was a righteous man. Matthew 5, 45 says the Father in heaven sends rain on the righteous. Matthew 9, 13 says, For I have not come to call the righteous, says Jesus. Matthew 10, 41, Whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. Matthew 13, 17, Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see. Matthew 23, verses 29 and 35, both speak of the righteous. Talks about the graves of the righteous. Also talks about righteous Abel and righteous Zechariah. Matthew 25, 37, then the righteous will answer him. Verse 46, the righteous will inherit eternal life. Matthew 6, 20, Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. Luke chapter 1 verse 6 says both of them, that's both Zechariah and Elizabeth, the parents of John the Baptist, they were both righteous in the sight of God. Not the sight of men, but in the sight of God. Verse 17, speaking about John the Baptist, it says, He will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. Luke 2 25 says that Simeon, was righteous. Now compare all that to what Paul said in Romans 3.10. There is none righteous. No, not one. Oh no, never, never do we have righteous people. Sorry, Paul, you're wrong. Oh, but Paul was just quoting from scripture. He was quoting the Psalms. Wrong. He misquoted the Psalms. He misquoted Psalm 14. He misquoted Psalm 53, like he usually misquotes scripture. Oh, but that's a different kind of righteousness. Righteousness is righteousness. Period. Full stop. End of story. It's like one witness says, oh, there was only one car on the scene. It was a white car. The other witness says, well, there was only one car on the scene. It was a black car. What are you going to do? Say, well, it, it really was a black car. It was just a white black car. It was just a, it was a different kind of black car. No, it's not a different kind of righteousness. Righteousness is righteousness, and the righteous are righteous. And some people said, oh, oh, but Paul was talking about people in his day, from his day forward, not the people in the past. If they could do it without Jesus, how much more could you do it with Jesus?